Hello everyone, this is Georgia Chiaz and welcome to our first Threat Thursday video. Today we're going to emulate APT19. So we are in our Scythe dashboard. This is a demo instance called Unicorn. And what we are going to do is go to our Threat Catalog. Our Threat Catalog has a number of threats and I've already created APT19. APT19 uh, uses HTTP for its channel. You can modify that if required. And I have added some automation here that emulates the different TTPs of APT19. So once this synthetic malware is created, it will execute on the target system and it will run through these different TTPs that are similar to what APT19 did. So one of the things that we've done is we've created a GitHub page where we can share these threats. And to do that, you'll just need to go to our GitHub page, github.com slash scythe-io, go to community threats, and there you have APT19. You click on that and you can see it. It's a JSON file that you can import into your Scythe instance. To import that, you go to migrate threats, and up here, you choose the file. I'm not gonna be able to import it, because I have already imported it. But once you import it, you go to your threat catalog. In the threat catalog, you select APT19, and then you go down and select create campaign from threat. So here we're going to create a new campaign called APT19 Threat Thursday. We see that's gonna go over HTTP. You need to modify these parameters because you imported this. So it might have unicorn.scythedemo.com. You will need to change that to your listener. And you can see here what it will execute. In this case, we're just going to go with physical. We'll click start and we'll show you how this works. So we just started an APT19 campaign. We will find the direct download links. And one of the TTPs uh, that APT19 does is run DLL. So Copy that DLL and then go to the machine of your choosing where you will be executing this. We will download this particular file. You can see it has downloaded the service login. We're going to rename that to service login.dll. And then we're going to um, run run dll so just start a standard command prompt you don't need to be escalated uh, you can execute this uh, synthetic malware straight from any user and you do run dll you cd to where you downloaded this and then do run dll 32.exe and then services.dll then you need to put where to start uh, where to start execution and I just want to show you how you figure that out you go here to download 32-bit DLL and you see here the entry point function name so we're just going to copy that and go back here paste it in there and when we hit enter this will execute run DLL 32 and I'm actually on a machine that has uh, Windows Defender running you saw no prompts there, which is always nice. And then we go over to our system and we see a new agent just checked in, desktop BR131. We click on that and it will start running through its um, through everything. So uh, we'll come back when it is completed. All right, and we are back. The automation should have run now. We're going to go ahead and click on our active agent here and take a look. And indeed it has. It starts from the bottom. So you see the first thing it did was set up the loader and load some run modules, ran who am I to know what user you are. And then it went through and ran a number of different of the TTPs that this particular threat actor APT19 would do. One of the things we like uh, putting into our automation is taking a screenshot. It's as simple as loading the loader and then taking a screenshot here. As you can see, uh, the machine I compromised was actually um, running Scythe as well and uh, did other things like IP config, uh, ARP, 
you can see whether they were successful or not, as well as their MITRE attack mapping. Now, something that we didn't add to this automation is the elevation and the persistence because you only need to run those once. So uh, we're going to get a shell and try to persist. Uh, the first thing we're going to try is to elevate privileges. So we click on shell, we do loader, dash dash load, elevate. It's going to load the elevation module and we can see that it was successful. And then we run elevate. In this case, I'm just going to send a prompt to make this a uh, little quicker and easier. And I can see the prompt came up over here. You see that run DLL wants to elevate. And I'm going to click yes. And it should now run another agent. The, each agent you have has a particular permission. So in this case, we now um, should get a new agent, which means that this current agent dies. That's part of what it does. So we have a new agent here. We see it's active. It's actually going to go through all the roles again. So there's now an elevated prompt. We see it running through. It ran who am I? It's the same user, but now that agent is running at a higher integrity level. So we will be right back when this finish is running. All right, and it has ran through all of our automation. Again, the same things that APT19 would have done. So first thing we're going to do is load the persist module. So we're gonna load that up first. And then the next thing we're going to do is persist. In this case, you need to input the host name and it's right up here on the top of your screen. I just copy and pasted it. You create a service, you give it a name. In this case, we're calling it my service. You can call it something else, something that blends in like Google update or something like that. And you'll execute that. Now, this is going to create an executable. And the next time you reboot, you should have access to that. You see persist successful. So what we will do now is reboot this machine. So we see that we have persistence. Oh, and it wants to run updates. I will do that. It's fine. I'm going to update and restart. We'll be right back. All right. So we have rebooted and we see that we have a new agent that checked in after the reboot. Uh, and updates, which is nice. And it's going through and running the same TTPs as APT19. So as you can see, it's pretty easier to do. We have this on our GitHub page, so you can download it, import it through into your threat catalog and run it yourself. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day.